Here you go, Chief. Hey, don't trip over that sunny personality of yours, Kovacs. You might hurt yourself. What was that about? Oh, they're all just steaming because I seem to have stolen Hal's job. But they'll get over it, won't they? So, what's up? How's Leanne? Um, she's about the same. Do we need a moment? Yeah. Craig's arraignment is scheduled for this evening. Yeah, we knew that. What's the problem? The problem is we don't have a case. Oh, 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 okay. I see. Because I'm Craig's sister, unless I actually have videotape of him setting the bomb and a signed confession that I'm going too soft on him. Huh? I'd say you're being too hard on him. <sighs> what? Our evidence is circumstantial. There's nothing here, Margo. The judge could throw this out at the arraignment. Okay, uh, get me more time. There is no more time. Based on what we've got here, Craig shouldn't have been arrested. Not at this point. I hate to say it, but you jumped the gun. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't understand. We found that money clip lodged in the wall very near the explosion. If I hadn't seen... Because you know Craig. And you know he doesn't spend his leisure hours hanging out at dilapidated boathouses. But the judge isn't going to see it that way. And Cass Winthrop will say, maybe he lost the money clip at some other point, or someone stole it. Or maybe Barbara had it on her at the time of the explosion, which is exactly what Craig told me. The case is weak, Margo. The judge could throw it out on the spot. That cannot happen. Well, it's all we've got. Well, we've got to get something else, because both our jobs are on the line here. Barbara Ryan is an important member of this community. The mayor is feeling pressure and he's passing it on. Now, I need something that puts Craig at the scene of the crime when it was committed. What about this footprint you found? Margo. Um, uh, it's a very clear print we found outside the boathouse. We took a cast of it and, and it's an analysis now. Great. So if we're lucky, it could possibly match Craig's and along with a couple hundred other upstanding citizens of Oakdale. I sent a cop over to Craig's suite to find the matching shoe. What more do you want me to do? Manufacture evidence? It doesn't work, does it? Treating Craig like a stranger, like he deserves to spend the rest of his life in prison. He's your brother. There is no way you can be objective. You know, if the next words out of your mouth are gonna be, take yourself off the case, save it. It's not my case, it's Jack Snyder's. Well, then let me go over this with Jack. Jack's not here right now. Then I'll talk to the commissioner. Jessica, I cannot lose control of this case, don't. This is a no-win situation for you, Margot. If you do the slightest thing wrong, a criminal could walk and you could lose your job. If you do everything right, you send your brother away for the rest of his life. How can you live with that? You know what I can't live with? I cannot live with being locked out. I have got to make sure that Craig's got a fair shot here. And then if he's guilty, I gotta make sure that we do everything we can to indict. Otherwise, I can't live with myself. Can you understand that? I need a conviction. And I need every cop pushing with everything they've got. Now, if you think Craig's innocent, I can't use you. I need you off this case. I gave Craig that money clip for Christmas. It was a joke. But seeing it at the scene, it felt like such a betrayal, such a catch me if you can, Margo. Just childish. You know, even as kids, I always wanted to fight. He never wanted to fight. He always wanted to settle everything with a toss of a coin. And of course, it was always a two-headed coin to make sure that he'd win. Did I jump the gun? Craig was desperate for cash. He married Barbara for her money. When she caught him with his hand in the till, when she threatened to cut off his bank account. The motive is strong, even if the evidence isn't. Well, I don't know if he's innocent, but I do know that he looks guilty. But you're right, we've got to have proof. We've got to have good, hard evidence. 
Otherwise, I'm never going to know if I did the right thing. And I... And I you know, Jessica, if you feel like you need to go to the commissioner, go. If this footprint thing pans out, just let me know right away. I will. I will. Pal? What are you doing? I just thought I'd uh, drop by, see the guys. You are down in the holding cell, weren't you? Who we'll let you down there? Nobody. Look, I found an old badge of my stuff. I just flashed it on one of the new guys. Which new guy? Margo, don't blame anybody you else. You know, from moment one, you have made it your mission to have my brother put in the cell. And now that we're this close, you jeopardize the whole case by running down and putting your face into that jail? You undermine my authority? If I see you near the prisoner again, I will have you hauled in for obstruction of justice. I'll second that. Cash, you're here to take Craig to his arraignment. Maybe I'll file a complaint while I'm at it. Why is Mr. Munson being allowed to harass my client? He's no longer a cop. And there's still an order of protection prohibiting him from going anywhere near Craig. That's true. The situation has been rectified and it will not happen again. If it does, you'll be facing a lawsuit. I'm sorry, Mark. Look, you've got to see we're after the same thing here. Has it not registered to you yet? You won. My brother's in jail. You've convinced everyone. You've convinced me that he's capable of murdering Barbara Ryan. So you've done your job, Hal. Why don't you let me do mine now? Please, leave. Now. Where were you? Personal business. Missed the DA. So I heard. Well, then you know that we were dealing with your case. Yes, Margot, I do know that. If anything comes in from forensics... I'll let you know. Jack! We found something while we were searching Montgomery's suite at the Lakeview. What do you got? These were hidden at the bottom of his closet. Muddy shoes. Oh, this is too perfect. That's what I thought. Let's get these to forensics, see if they compare with the plaster footprints we found at the riverfront. I have the shoe fit, so to speak. This puts Montgomery at the scene of the crime, right? Without a reasonable doubt. Very much. Hal, what are you doing? Avoiding Margot. Please tell me you are not just down talking to Montgomery. I asked him some questions. No, not now. Hal, do you realize how close we are to nailing this guy? Every instinct tells me Montgomery did not build that bomb. You're wrong. We just got some new evidence, and if it flies, it's going to prove our case against Montgomery. What evidence? Hal, I ordered you to leave. I'm just talking to Jack. What? Was he down in holding with Craig? Yes, I went back down to holding after you ordered me not to. With his lawyer present. Did they see you? Margot, I am trying to help out. If you just listen to me, Why maybe you'll see I listen that I'm to you? right. You obviously don't want to listen to me. You are under arrest. Oh, oh Margo, come on. There's got to be a better way here. Grady, got to find a way to keep you away from the prisoner, a way to keep you from contaminating the evidence. Grady, cuff Mr. No, no come on, Margo. Let's not get crazy thing. here, please. You can sit in a jail cell, and then maybe you'll learn to take me seriously. I can't believe that you would do this to me. I can't believe that you would do this. There's plenty of room now. It's Scotty, Margo.
Hey. Friends, have you come up the report yet? Not yet. Listen, Margo, I want to apologize from before for being late. You shouldn't have had to deal with the DA, not on this. And I shouldn't have given you a hard time. It's okay. You've been saying that a lot lately, haven't you? Just like you've been taking a lot of heat for things you don't deserve. Listen, I've been stewing over you taking over Hell's job, and I guess a part of me felt... I don't know, passed over, jealous, maybe, who knows. Anyway, um, I'm sorry. Hmm. Thanks, Jack. And about this case, you've handled it the right way, Margo, all the way down the line. And if anybody questions your objectivity or your leadership again, you send them to me, okay? Okay. How are you at handling mothers, huh? Because if this report comes back positive, I'm going to have to call my mom and tell her that her son is facing a, a prison term. And that's something I just don't want to do. Hey, Marco, it's our job to find the bad guys, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe I'm not the one who had to find this particular bad guy. Jessica offered to bounce me from the case. You had to see it through. You had to be sure. How am I going to explain that to my family, that I did such a good job today that I may have proved that my brother... My brother, that sweet, wonderful, funny guy, he's a murderer. And I know it's true because I proved it. You, uh, you waiting for the stuff there? Yeah. Oh, now, what do you got here? Well? It's verified that this print was picked up no more than 50 feet from the crime scene. And that the mud and clay on the shoes is an exact match for the river washed mud around the boathouse. And the fit. I'm gonna head over to the hearing room as soon as I get this stuff packed up. Right. Well, I gotta tell you, Jessica's gonna be real happy to get all of this. Hey, Margo, about Hal, uh, are you serious about present charges? Oh, oh, tell Kovacs to spring him. This yours? It's a gift I got from someone a long time ago. A quarter? Turn it over. <laughs> it's double-sided. Two heads. That's why you can't lose. Yeah. That's the idea. Here. You don't want to lose that.